Hi, this is Angela Murad at Amazing Kids AAC Consulting. I got a few questions yesterday about how you go about adding in the whiteboard and to touch chat with word power. Uh, the most recent update and maybe even further back, I just found out about it yesterday in one of their updated webinars, but for sure in version 2.38.1, if you go into the word power vocabularies, so word power 108 symbol sticks, groups, school, whiteboard. So it's already included, you don't have to do anything. Um, the issue though is, is lots of us have been using this app for a very long time and it has spent a long time editing and customizing. So for example, here's uh, my version of 108 word power, and I've spent quite a bit of time adding more simple support in to make this be more usable uh, for several of my patients. So if I wanted to add it in, go to groups, go to school, you can tell it's not already here. I'm gonna go into menu, edit page. The first thing I wanna do here is I remember that it was up here I'm going to, let's see, let's remove that button. And then this one, change button size, one row, two columns. So I have a spot for it. Okay, so I'm gonna go into menu, import copy pages, import another page, and I know that it's in Word Power 108 SS, Simple Sticks. So then within here, I'm going to search for whiteboard and import. Okay, so for now I'm going to click down there. I'm going to edit this button. I'm going to call it whiteboard. I'm going to add an image and I know from having looked before there's one that actually shows uh, the symbol sticks figure drawing on a whiteboard or maybe draw. Let's see, uh, dry erase. There we go, right, right on dry erase was the symbol. Okay, so we don't necessarily need that to speak, but I want it to navigate. Whiteboard, no animation, save, done. And what that does is that makes it to where it matches your grid size that you're using. And you're not having to do a lot of editing by just importing it that way. So now that I have it in here, 108 edited. I'm going to go over here to Word Power 42 Basic. Oh, I think I already added it there. Let's see, where's another one where I haven't added it yet? This one, Word Power 60. Okay, so I'm going to go into Groups, School. And see right there between test answers and groups is where it should be. So it's not on this one. So I'm going to go into menu. I'm going to go into edit page. Menu. Import. Import another page. I'm going to go to word power. 60 basic symbol sticks. I'm going to look for whiteboard, import, 
done. Edit this button. Whiteboard. Select image. Right. Right on dry erase. And right here, I'll also take the second to show you if you wanted to change the skin tone on this particular button, you have the option to do that here. Do you like that? Or you can use the settings elsewhere to change them system wide. Um, I could also, if I wanted to, put a different border color around this to make it stand out a bit. So maybe like. Turquoise, border width four, save, done. Whiteboard. Oops, I forgot a step. Let's go into menu, edit page, edit this button. I need to take that off. I need to navigate. Whiteboard. No animation, save, done. So now, and <laughs> whenever you get it, you're like, well, where's the controls? If you tap on it, they the hidden controls pop up. The other thing I, I discovered yesterday is if you tap where it says whiteboard, then you get some additional things. You tap on these to change the color. You keep tapping to change the width. So narrow, medium, wide. If you want to undo something, you can. You have the options here to clear, undo, change the color, change the width, erase, save, and load. So uh, your quickest way now to do this is to import one from the same size uh, vocab file so you're not having to adjust columns and delete and add things to it. So hope this helps.